Have you ever found yourself dreaming of lucid dreaming? Or in other words, having a fake lucid dream? Well, in today's video, we're going to unlock the mystery of false lucid dreams. So let's get started. Hey dreamers, well today we're going to explore the strange science behind fake lucid dreams. Those dreams that have you questioning your own sanity. Was that a lucid dream or was it something completely different? If you've ever had a kind of lucid dream and you're not sure whether you were really lucid, then this is the video for you. Fake lucid dreams are surprisingly common. In fact, if you go to any lucid dreaming forum or discord, you'll find lots of people sharing lucid dreams when actually they've been having fake lucid dreams. But what does having a fake lucid dream tell us about your journey into lucidity? And it all boils down to one question. What is a true lucid dream? So if you want to spot a fake, the first thing to do is to establish what's real. And unfortunately, most people don't truly understand what a lucid dream is. It's not simply knowing that you're dreaming. That's the common definition that most people use. Lucid dreaming is made up of two factors. The first one is knowing that you're dreaming while you're dreaming, having the knowledge that everything's a dream. But the second factor is even more important. It's having the clarity of mind to understand that knowledge. In other words, lucid dreaming is fully understanding that you're dreaming. So a fake lucid dream is where you have a standard dream and in that dream, part of the plot line is that you know that you're dreaming. But the missing factor is the cognizant clarity of mind that allows you to really understand that information. So in other words, you go about the dream acting as if you know you're dreaming, but you're not really present in the dream. It's a dream about a lucid dream. And I know this is kind of confusing and it boggles the mind. So let me give you a couple of examples. The difference between a fake lucid dream and a true lucid dream. And this is really important for beginners because fake lucid dreams are really common when you're learning this subject. So a fake lucid dream, you would be having a dream and part of the plot is you know that you're dreaming but during the dream you're taking everything seriously you're not clear-minded you're not truly present you don't feel there you're simply going along with the storyline acting as if you know you're dreaming but your mind is taking things seriously so let's give an example you're being attacked by a monster in the dream and you're oh i know i'm dreaming i can fight the monster now that isn't a true clear understanding that you're dreaming because you're taking the plot line seriously. You think that the monster is real, even though you have this piece of unused knowledge that you're dreaming. Now, in a true lucid dream, you would not only know that you're dreaming, but you would understand that you were dreaming with your clear mind. So you would realize you were dreaming, you would understand that you're dreaming, you would know that you're dreaming, and the logical outcome of that knowledge is Okay, well, nothing here is real. It's all an illusion, so I can choose whether I fight this monster or not, because it doesn't exist. So fake lucid dreams and non-lucid dreams are the mind operating on autopilot. You're not truly present. It doesn't matter whether you're dreaming about knowing you're dreaming if you're not truly present. A lucid dream is the knowledge that you're dreaming, but you're also present and cognizant, really understanding the implications of that knowledge and there to do something about it. So probably the best way to understand this is to look at something similar from waking life. Now we've all had this experience where you're having a conversation with someone, but you're not truly present. They're talking at you, blah, 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 and your mind is drifting off. You go into autopilot, you're nodding along, but you're not really processing the words. You know that you're having a conversation, but you're not present for the conversation. Now that is very different from being aware and engaged with the conversation, fully understanding what is being said. 
And to understand this from a science perspective, or at least a potato science perspective, a very simplified version, a true lucid dream is when the prefrontal cortex, the critical thinking, present areas of the brain are active and engaged, and in non-lucid dreams they're not. A non-lucid dream is very similar to daydreaming. You're drifting off, you're on autopilot. A lucid dream is active, engaged, present, understanding, and aware. So this is all very good, but what does it tell us about our lucid dream practice? If you're having fake lucid dreams, where do you stand? What does it mean? Well, generally, it's a good sign. What it tends to mean is that you're thinking a lot about lucid dreaming in your daily waking life, and that's starting to colour the flavour of your dreams. It's starting to... basically, it's a form of dream incubation. You're incubating dreams about lucidity. So what you do know is that your lucid dream practice is starting to pay off, and your dreaming brain is processing the idea of lucidity, but it's not activating the prefrontal cortex or the clarity of mind required for true lucidity. Now, if you want to take that a step further, if you want to break out of the cycle of fake lucid dreams, you're probably missing something. What it means is that it's likely that your thoughts about lucid dreaming during the day are done a little too much on autopilot. So maybe you're going through the motions of performing a reality test, but you're not really present. So if you're having fake lucid dreams, make sure that your reality tests in waking life are fully present and cognizant. And this brings us on to a very fundamental point about lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is essentially the battle between autopilot and presence. If you're spending most of your waking life being easily distracted, going into autopilot, you're living a non-lucid life. Now this isn't to say that autopilot is bad, nature developed it for a reason, it's low calorie, low effort behaviour, but it is the opposite of lucidity. So. One thing you can start doing is trying to notice whenever you're distracted, on autopilot, forgetful, or just not present in waking life, and catching those moments. Realising, snapping out of the, the reverie, the daydream. That's a really important practice, because what you're really doing here is just training the brain not to default to autopilot all the time. Dreams are essentially the mind on autopilot, so learn to navigate the realms of autopilot in waking life. And if you've ever wondered what the point of performing reality checks or reality tests are, it is a kind of hack, a kind of lucid dreaming hack, to trick your mind into being present. As lucid dreamers, as a lucid dreaming teacher, I know that your mind will default to autopilot as often as it can. So telling you to perform 10 reality tests a day is my way of asking you to be present more often. Lucid dreaming is all about presence. Being here, being engaged, being cognizant of what is going on. And a brilliant side effect of this is is that you start to be lucid and live truly in the moment. You're not just sleepwalking through your waking life. And if you want the ultimate lucid dreaming hack when it comes to presence, keep an eye on how often you use this. These things are the distraction device of the century. Every time you pick it up, your mind is basically deciding to go into autopilot thinking. So if you perform a reality test, every time you pick this up, you're basically catching that moment where your brain is being lazy and it's trying to go into autopilot. So if you're having fake lucid dreams, don't panic. If anything, it's a really good sign. It means that your brain is starting to process ideas of lucid dreaming in the dream world. Things are starting to influence your dreams. What it's telling you is that you need to be more present and aware in the moment to switch off autopilot and be engaged with reality, whether that's the reality of waking life or the reality of your dreams. So here's a little test for you. How present are you right now? Because a lot of people are just hearing blah, blah, blah. Their imagination is taking them off to la, la, la. 
If that's not you, then hit the like button now and leave a comment below. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. If you've really enjoyed it, please consider leaving a super thanks and obviously subscribe if you're new here. I'm Daniel Love, the Lucid Guide. This has been Lucid Dream Portal and until next time, stay lucid. Subscribe now and ask yourself, are you dreaming?